the whole football stadium is packed, sold out. <laughs> Woo! It's coming your way. Now, do we just have this here for de decoration? Where's my natty light? Oh. But yeah, no, no, you, if you want a natty yeah, light. Yeah, well. Right, I know you, you we've just. We've got spotlights over here, too. I know you voiced your displeasure for light. I'm pretty things thirsty. Earlier. There's Bud Lights so, on there. There's also Bud Lights on Bud Lights, not much better. They're made by the same company. Anheuser Busch makes Bud I mean, there's a Heineken in here. That was. There's in the fridge right behind you. Here, right now, I got it. Look at that fancy taste. Look at this guy, real serious. Whoa. Oh, sorry. You know I'm not good at catching. Yeah. You no. saw that earlier. Threw me his cues. I went to the, I, there's, so, so there's a group of them all just sitting by the van, and I'm like, I'm going to run into a gas station next door. And it's like literally like five or six people. Yeah. I just throw the keys, and they all look at the ground. <laughs> Every single one of them. Just watch it. I was like. I, I was trying to like stone cold you. So you could. Oh, hell yes, son. That's how the show's starting. Hello, officer and gentleman, Dustin, Dan Barry. Dan. That's your real name, huh? Dan Barry's real, real name. Matt Dan Riddle. Barry Connecticut. My government. Matt Riddle, former UFC WWF European champion. Yeah, that right? yeah, that's that's your title. Uh, yeah, I was a uh, I won nationals a couple times. Won the worlds in jiu-jitsu. National won, what? Uh, grappling, like Nagas, Grapplers Quest. It's basically like submission wrestling. Okay. I won nationals and worlds at that, and then fought in the UFC. But before that, won states nationals in high school wrestling and college. You know, so you're a real jabroni. I'm a real <laughs> sounds awful. Real hag. Yeah, look I like athletics. I'm a former IWA Mid South Light Heavyweight Champion, which is probably the most uh, former CZW Tag Champion. That's now that. Now CZW see right here. Yeah, bring bring champion. your bring your bullshit in. It's fine. Yeah, no, so so when did you you started wrestling? Like when? When you were born, uh, like as a, like a like a like a, a real. Are we talking real, about backyard or real wrestling? No, like real, like so. I started really a real wrestling, amateur wrestling, when I was thirteen. Okay. And then you know, and the, I got the passion for it from pro wrestling. I was doing like I was wrestling on the trampoline every weekend with my friends, and then my brother's friends actually wrestled, and they had always whooped my ass. You I really was, did all this because of pro wrestling? Yeah, because I was like all the good what pro, a, a lot of the, wild ride. <laughs> like, like, a lot of good pro wrestlers go that route, and then like during that era, there was like the Ken Shamrocks, the Dan Sever. There was a lot of guys the that ever. were just coming over yeah. with that crossover. Steve Blackman. And I figured, hey, I'm in high school. I can't do pro wrestling at this point. Nobody will let me. Plus, my mom said if I ever did, I would have to wear a mask. Oh. Why? She, my, my Your band, mom thinks you're ugly? It's not that. <laughs> it's like, uh, even when I started pro wrestling, my mom was like, I, I don't get it. And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, well, you used to fight, and you would punch people and try not to get hit. And now you hit people, and then you like let them hit you back and slam you sometimes. And I'm like... Sometimes, you know, like, but I, I, move. they just don't get it, you know, so, they don't have the same support. It's like parents just don't understand. Yeah. yeah. Parents don't understand sometimes. <laughs> what was your backyard wrestling finisher? That's I a was, great dude. I, 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 that's, I, a, that's a new list question. I, I'll, I'll yeah. be honest, I was a big, uh, I was a big RVD guy, so, uh, and I had the trampoline. Who would have thought? You know? <laughs> And I had the <laughs> trampoline with the deck above it, so I hit the five star off that, you know. Did you do the bounce off, the big dumb cell? Oh, of, the, of course, especially good, with good. the trampoline. I had a tree above mine. I had a, chill, I had a big 15 footer, and I, I did the uh, I used to do moon salt. So mine was a big moon salt, and everyone always moved because they thought I was gonna hurt them. Oh, that's and my that's career. A, so I bounced. Yeah, that's your whole. That's your current. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was my I, my finish. Just became the DDT. I was the, the master of the DDT. I could do it from anywhere. That's pretty legit. That's my, my new gimmick on like regular wrestling now too because I can I can't do anything else. My backyard wrestling finish was the uh, I called it the wombat driver. Ooh. And then it later became the awful waffle. That it thing. Was, it was that the, thing is. It was, no, no, it wasn't the pile driver. I, that that guy uh, changed. It was uh, Samoan uh, Amityville Horror. The Amityville Horror. The, uh, that was a great name for a move by the way. Amityville yeah, Horror. Yeah, yeah. The uh, what did uh, uh, Chris Chetty. I don't appreciate it, but uh, uh, Graham Metallic. He does it too. Homegirl does it. Dana Brooke. Uh, the fucking the guy from uh, WCW, the uh, Purple Cajun. 
The uh, Lash LaRue. Lash LaRue. Lash LaRue. The Whiplash. That's what he called it. Yeah. The Whiplash. Bam. Uh, it was called the Wombat Driver. I did that in the backyard. When I wrestled with my little brother in the living room, my finishers were the hip, flying hip drop. So instead of an elbow, I would drop this part. So it would just be like, <laughs> like this. I would just go like. <laughs> How my nuts? Uh, it's pretty cool. Did you have? What was your pretty gimmick? Pretty legit, bro. What was your backyard gimmick? You know, kind of just like. Real life, I, I'm kind of always been Matt Riddle, you know. So <laughs> even in the backyard with the cookie tray, I was Matt Riddle, amateur Matt Riddle, and now professional Matt Riddle. Well, what well, kind of? I was. Uh, I had already actually started training before I backyard. <laughs> started training for real, and then I went to a backyard. You went and you were like the big dog and then I've been doing training. So. <laughs> <laughs> you were like the vet of the backyard. You so were, the backyard <laughs> place I wrestled at, like we had a. Full, like we had a ring, like a real ring. Uh, that Did they you buy it from high spots. So we had a ring uh, that we had gotten from another company, and then that company took it back. And then we bought a high spots ring <laughs> that cost, I, think, I believe, five thousand dollars. How did you raise the money for that? Kickstarter. Uh, okay. Our buddy yeah. Levi, who wrestled as Ryan Rage, very so angry. Put it on his credit card, <laughs> 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 and then we would pay. We would all pay monthly to help out. Like I would give him like twenty bucks, and then you know the rest of us would. And then you stop still, paying after like three months. In and then crippling just... debt. <laughs> <laughs> he has to declare bankruptcy. Oh, right he's now. dead. Yeah. Uh, he might be dead. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you just have to take care of him. I think that ring is still in Paducah. When you guys made tables when you were backyarding, what what'd you do? Usually just plywood. Against and we had some, you know, those horses or whatever. Saw horses? Yeah, yeah, we had those. The saw horse part, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like no, not, you know. Not you guys didn't have table. one set of table legs that you would hammer to it? No. We would do that. No. You had a shitty piece of, uh, of uh, press board that... Party you board. know, I, I, board. Yeah, yeah. I, I would go as far as saying this wasn't a backyard wrestling league. This was my backyard at my parents' house and, like, yeah. friends would come over. We didn't have friends, so we just wrestled in the backyard. It seems like you was a legit backyard organization. Ours was our became that sounds a real promotion. Then we moved OBW. Mine, you Maybe know, I got called the NXT. camcorder. <laughs> it started in my backyard. <laughs> you know, my, I'd be at the camcorder. You know, we did the whole thing. Yeah, but that's yeah I was a trampoline boy. I was yeah. doing four fifty, six thirties. I did all the time. I get six thirty trampoline. I, I still six thirty on trampoline like it's nobody's business, no problem. I saw you do a shooting star press into the pool today. Let him know. Tell, tell the people. That tell the shooting star for I can't do that. I think you I'm can. Open. I think you can. I you know what? Oh, yeah, I can. Well, I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to, big, trying to, I was trying to let him shine a little bit, and you cut him. Oh, Fuck, yeah. man. But I'm, still, I'm really ass. impressive. And then you like, came on the other side, I think just did a straight back. Yeah, yeah no problem. You're back like, tuck. Back's right. nothing with him. Of course. Let's go back tuck right now. Yeah, All right. it was there's a big pretty, bed. There's a big bed behind. Still you. pretty legit. And then you oh, told me about oh, the yeah. old uh, the boob floppage. I saw an old lady's titty today. Yeah, and you know yeah. What? That's, that's one thing yeah. I'm all about. Like old or young. Ooh, yeah, that was mad that was One foot. <laughs> yeah, it was terrible. Oh, I was talking about old lady titty. Nice I, got excited. Salt. I was. Uh, you said want to land on your boner thinking about that old lady tip. <laughs> dude. It's I handlebar it. You know where you pull it right up into the, into yeah, the waistband, yeah, yeah. and then you lift your shirt. You like raise your arms up. It just looks like like Jaws's <laughs> just, head in the bottom of the poster. Just looks like, just looks like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, we were out at the pool earlier. It's a quarter. It's a quarter. Oh, so it's gone. No, nope. like I care about money. I'm rich. Uh, yeah, we all. Are. <laughs> uh, nice sandals, by the thanks, way. Thanks, bro. Sitting out at the pool, getting some getting some rays. Old lady swimming, 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 comes up, goes down. She's she's a good swimmer. She pops up, straight titty yeah, hanging out. Just out. She's probably, if I had to guess, 53. Easy. Something like 53. Easy. Good titty for a 53 year old. But, it, you know, like, time has taken its toll, so it's a little down. It's a little eggy. She pops up and I'm like, he has a road map on it. I'm just sitting here like, oh, it's old lady titty. <laughs> and then she goes, this, 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 this is the sound she makes. She goes, 
Oh! <laughs> and then pulls it. But, but here's the thing. She, she had, away. Her bathing suit was like one of those deals that comes up, like it's like around the neck and then it came down. Mm-hmm. And it was like almost like a shirt, the rest of it. Yeah. So it means that at some point she took that off and then went swimming. She knew. I think it was intentional. Yeah, she I swam up like, like it was like Fast Times at Ridgemont High, which is like a much older lady. <laughs> I think she was she, like showing some titties. She was like, I'm going to give these young boys a treat. And she just got her rocks off. Yeah. And then Dustin immediately was like, you know, I gotta go shower yeah. before we go out. This is I true. remember because he came to my room first, told me about the titties, and said he had to go. I gotta go shower. shower. <laughs> and then he was playing some Michael McDonald, and he came out much more relaxed. You were mellow on the car ride. <laughs> Spanked off, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> all I saw a real live titty. Today. <laughs> it's true. It's... That wasn't meant for me. That's and, rare. Yeah, that's the best. Look, I've it's almost seen, wrong. I've seen titties before. <laughs> we, we, no one accused you otherwise. Yeah, but like when one is not meant for you, and not in a way, like not in a creepy way that like I went out of my way to see it, but like when you present it, when you're presented with a titty like out of nowhere, it's like yeah, this good is, times. I used to be a meter reader for a water company. I went to somebody's basement to read their water meter because it's inside their house. And I went down and she like went to show me and her just titty popped out. And I was like right there and I'm like, oh like her husband's at the top of the stairs and she goes, Ugh, it's just like back in. I was like, like it happens this all the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> going to get milk at the supermarket, like, oh it has a mind of its own. Just <laughs> out here hanging out. Perks of the job. He was at poolside before uh, Matt Riddle was at poolside before and uh, you know he is the body of an Adonis. Uh, and he was swimming and there was just these two girls <laughs> just on the side, just watching Matt Riddle swim in the water. And then we just filmed it in slow motion because it was. Did you good swimmer? I'm decent. I'm decent. I grew up by a lake, so I swam some laps. Me too, man. Yeah. Not the greatest swimmer though. Yeah, lakes. I lakes can doggy paddle like a motherfucker. Oceans can go fuck themselves. Lakes are where it's at. I feel you. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a lake man myself. <laughs> I'd like to go boating. Hard hitting questions, right? Hey, do you hate Dana White? Uh, you know, hate's a super strong word. I, I extremely dislike. I disagree with his ethics and morals greatly. He, like, didn't he, like, introduce Trump at a rally? Yeah. He did. Yeah. Yeah. There's a Republican National Convention. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody, like, I feel like that wasn't a big story, but, like, hey, he fucking introduced Trump. Hey, the guy like, who promotes crazy, fights right? for a living is introducing our next president. This is, like, idiocracy. Like, remember, it's hilarious like, to me. Hey, Trump sucks butts, and Dana White introduced him. All right, whatever. So, <laughs> so many thoughts. Yeah, guys, we just need to make America. You know, great the, again. the guy, so, the guy, man, he makes poor decisions. Yeah. If you ask me, but hey, it's what it is. Walk me through what happened with you in the UFC. What's uh? So you started on the Ultimate Fighter, right? So yeah, I fought. I fought on the Ultimate Fighter. Got on, knocked the dude out, broke his jaw. So what's your season? Yeah. Did you win? The I season? didn't. I didn't. I actually lost my second fight. Mm-hmm. But all the guys were a lot more experienced than me. I was 21 at the time, and I showed great promise. You know, I was only training for about eight months then. So I got a contract, and then, you know, from there I went on a three-fight win streak, and then I fought in Lon- or Manchester, lost to Manchester, then won a couple more fights, lost a couple fights, but got fight of the night and submission of the night and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then on um, the last four fights... The second fight of the win streak, I failed a drug test for marijuana. I have a medical license in Nevada. I did. But, uh, so I failed a drug test. And the only reason I failed it was it was on short notice. I took the fight, like, literally on seven days notice. They called me, hey, Matt, can you fill in the spot this guy pulled out? I was like, yes, I need the money, plus it's main card pay-per-view. Took it. Great fight. It's initially you win? Made, yeah, made good money, everything. Made, like, 120000 that night. Because I got an $80,000 bonus, and then I made 25 and 25, so, but, <laughs> guys, guys, I made, I made like a couple of hundred dollars in a wrestling show once, I was like, fuck yes. Six I, t-shirts that I made change my life. In the, in the room but you, not Matt Riddle, just went like, no. but, <laughs> but you guys, see, the, this is the thing, I worked my ass to oh, get no, to that point in my no, career. No, no, we, we don't, we don't understand, he was like, I don't look down on what happened and look at you like, oh my god, like you shouldn't be getting that. Fuck yeah, you should get that money. You're legitimately fighting for your life inside of a cage in front of thousands of people and untapped pay per view, so on and so forth. It's just that at no point in my life have I ever been like, oh, there's 120 grand. Like, I've never had that issue. In my literally, life. The, the taxes they took out of your check Canada, is, I fought is, in Canada. Is, is more money than I've ever like had at one time in my life. Like, yeah. by far. Yeah. 
Yeah, like it's that, just the text. And I'll be honest, like, and the thing is, there is pros to that. Like, when you do fight and you get a big payday like that, it's like. You're you're set, but like before that payday, I had to borrow money just to pay for fucking yeah. rent, trainers. Mm-hmm. So it's essentially, other. like you're getting it, but it's really paying back owed taxes. Exactly. On yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like when I got my first fight of the night bonus, I made sixty five thousand on the bonus, and then like another fifteen thousand. I ended up losing that fight. Were you, decision. were you married at this point? I might have not been married at this point, but I was. So then that was you. I had one. kids. I was with my wife. You know. So you were living in sin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So I, I made that money, but like I hadn't paid taxes for like the last two three years because I was only making like eight and eight. Mm. And think about it, if you're only making like sixteen thousand three times a year, it seems like a lot. But you pay ten percent to your trainers, ten percent to a manager, plus taxes, and it's prize money. So you give a third to the federal government. Plus, if you live in a state that taxes on top Which of is that, why you so when you even look at one hundred twenty, by the time I left Canada, I only had eighty. By the time the federal government came at me, I only had about sixty because I told them Canada took so much, but they still wanted a piece too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, one hundred twenty, really sixty, but sixty cash is still it's awesome. a lot of money. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say something right now. I, I mean this no negative way. I don't think anybody watching this right now would have assumed that you could have popped off those numbers from math right away. <laughs> you just, you, you're just, you know, th- there's certain things I'm really smart about, and I, I choose what I want to be good at. That's not that over. Yeah, that's filming. Oh, Not okay. smart about that. It's okay. they, shoot, they shoot porn in this room. Yeah. Why else would there be a porn? After this, this is the same camera. Just moving when it comes chairs. to certain things, I can I can pick them up. Like when it comes to fighting or wrestling or... We like, noticed the wrestling. You're or even like when it comes to like my numbers in wrestling with merch or anything. You know how it is. It's something you're passionate about. Yeah. You'll get it. Yeah, you'll learn pick it. it up. Yeah. take it. You know? So it, it's like that. And now, now when you... So you get suspended off of the so, medical marijuana. So I, I failed the first drug test, seven days notice. It's ridiculous. They tell me so three stupid. months later I failed the drug test. I'm like, I didn't even know I failed. I was like, I can't believe I passed that one. <laughs> 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 you know? and so they tell me I failed. I'm like, oh, shit. They're like, but we're not going to fine you. You have a medical license. Da, 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 da. So I didn't even get punished. They suspended me like four months. It was already three months later. So And I didn't have a fight signed or anything. Yeah, so. so in the... You said you took it on seven days' notice. Yes. In the seven days, mm-hmm. did you smoke weed? No. Okay. No, the second I took the fight, I was like, you yeah. know, I quit. Okay. I always quit when I knew I had a fight, and not say that when I knew I had it. I always quit three weeks out before a fight. Sure. You know, and I've never had a problem. But then I fought a couple more times, won, and then my last fight, which I fought in London against Che Mills, won. But there was some controversy going into the fight. There's a lot of like. Shit they don't talk about that, like, is the reason why I got fired. Because a lot of people get, you know, get popped for weed or steroids or whatever, or coke, beating their wives in the UFC, and they keep their jobs. Yeah, but that's, how, that's a blow But how come a way. medical marijuana patient got fired and they bury him? That's like, ridiculous. what happened there, right? And nobody makes a stink about it because I'm not an asshole. I don't care. It's, like, it's all going to change in 20 years and we're going to look back exactly. and be like, why the fuck did this happen? I was right. You were wrong. No biggie. I'm not going to rub it in anybody's face. Yeah. It's just what it is. What was but, the controversy going on? The controversy going on was, at the time, medical marijuana was banned as a PED, performance enhancing drug. Which makes no it sense. Makes you faster, stronger, Ridiculous. whatever. I can see things you can't see. <laughs> but, people were allowed to use TRT. Actually, I, I believe that last thing. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> But TRT was legal as long as you were prescribed it by a doctor. So you could take testosterone replacement. Therapy. That's absurd. And but mine was a performance enhancing drug, and I wasn't the only fighter that was vocal about it. But a lot of people were listening to me because of my stance. Because I was like, "You're telling me I can't use a plant that's natural that has never killed anybody or doesn't cause any problems, but you can use TRT yeah. if you have a doctor's note and it's cool. And you're allowed to even now you're still allowed to test six to one. A normal man's testosterone levels aren't six to one. Maybe so they're more, basically but. saying you can like use something, just don't use too much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so that's those were the rules at the time, and I was very vocal about it, and people would ask me about it, and I was very honest about it, kind of like how I am now. Michael Merce, the lawyer for the UFC at the time, would contact me and be like, hey, can you stop doing that? I'd be like, you know, I, I'm just an honest guy. If they ask me, I'm going to give them my opinion. It's not the rules. The rules are what they are. It's just my opinion. I'm allowed to do that, you know? Well, the last fight I had with the UFC, also, uh, I wanted to fight Dan Hardy. 
I didn't want to go back to England and fight this dude, Che Mills. Last time I was in England, this one it was my first loss. Two, they spit on me. They called me a cunt, a cocksucker. It was horrible. It was a horrible experience. And that was just at the airport. No, that was <laughs> no. I literally He's came out. I, this is a this is a little story. Came out for that fight. I'm all excited. I'm in England. I'm coming out because I'm in England. I'm like, I'm going to come out to Hulk Hogan. I want to be an American, right? American. They're going to go crazy. So before the song even I'm starts, they're American. booming. They're calling me all those nasty names. They're spitting on me. One dude says, hey, Riddle. And like kind of a nice voice. So I'm like, you know me. I'm a pretty nice guy. So I look up to like say, like, hey, what's up to you? Dude spits right in my face. I go to hit him. Security grabs me, whatever. So I'm fucking furious. My music hits. You know, Hulk Hogan's song. Start walking out. The crowd goes from booze to cheers. They're just cheering. People are slapping my hand. I'm like, what the? Like, it was like I was in the twilight zone. I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I'm like, but I didn't realize how big pro wrestling was in England at the time. So I was just walking through, and they're like, yeah! And I'm like, you guys were all just fucking booing and screaming on me, and now you're all cheering for me. I get in the ring. The music cuts. Boo, you fucking suck. The rest of the fight, every time they showed my face on the screen, boo, everything. But when that song came on, cheers. You were just hoping the Hulkster came out? Yeah, so back to the original story. So I fought Shay Mills, didn't want to fight him, but Joe Silva goes, hey, if you fight Shay Mills in London and beat him, we'll give you Dan Hardy. And everybody knows who Dan Hardy is, that dude with the red mohawk who fought GSP, right? He sucks, but... He's got a name, and I knew I could whoop his ass. So I was like, yeah, I'll take this fight to get that fight. Yeah. Well, that wasn't going to happen because when I took that fight, he already had plans for Dan Hardy. So I was vocal about that. I was like, you fucking lied to me. It's like, you told me if I beat this dude's ass, I was going to get Dan Hardy, and that's not happening. You know, so I was, and then I was like, I'm going to beat Shea Mills. I'm not going to finish him. I'm going to take him down and ride him for three rounds. And what did I do? I took him down probably four times a round, took him out, took his back, did everything. Didn't TKO him, didn't submit him. And I could have. I just pop pop, stayed busy enough where they wouldn't stand me up. And literally after the fight, I go, so the post fight conference? No, you're good. And then they told me I failed a drug test. And I quit three weeks out before that fight, but they said I failed that drug test. So I kind of got a feeling there was, a, and the UFC, it's not like they're not known for shady shit. So mm -hmm. it's like, it's whatever. But I got a feeling I, I was on a run. I was 4-0. I have a really good background. I'm skilled. I was in the UFC since I was 21 years old. I was 27 at the time. They knew what was happening. I was on my rise. I was hitting my prime, and I was about to take shit over. I was just hitting the top 10 at 27. They was never behind you. It's never, never like that. That sucks, man. You know, because it bothers and, me. And then the best part is they fire me. They bury me. They call me a loser, this, that, and the other thing, whatever. And then... Shit fell through with other promotions. They either didn't have the money or fights kept falling through. And that's when I was literally, it sounds corny, I was watching fucking WrestleMania and I was like, fuck MMA, I gotta give this a shot, you yeah. know? Like, they're not, this, it, it's like, uh, it was just fucking horrible. It was like being treated horrible by, like, in a relationship to MMA. It was a cruel mistress. Like, every time I was trying to be nice, I'd just get kicked in the face. It doesn't make sense to me because it's like such a, you have like a Lesnar who pops for steroids or a Silva or whatever. Yeah, yeah. All these people who pop for steroids. Uh, and then it's like, ah, oh, you smoke weed, you piece of shit. It's like, really? It's of everything? And it's like, especially in this, this scenario where like mar medical marijuana is a thing. Marijuana is noted as being like an okay drug. Like, don't sweat it. And like, they're like, no, you know what? Steroids is, is number one. That's like, the, the, the steroids is like, Oh, whatever. Well, you six to one test, you're fine. But marijuana is gonna be the one that stops you. It stops you in your trip. People want. Hey, thanks, Dalton. Dalton Castle's only appearance on this is going to be being what a stallion. A <laughs> nut what, a stallion. what a stallion! Fellow upstate New Yorker, right there. Yeah, Saratoga, New York, gang. Eh? You guys put each other over real hard behind each other's backs. Dude, that's what we do. We're stallions. Have you put bro. each other over to each other's faces? Look, look. At Two good-looking dudes from upstate. Where are you from? From, uh, yeah, Saratoga Springs, upstate New York. It's a good place. It's I was not born, far from Lake George, I was, born, I was born in Allentown, Pennsylvania, so I got like that legit pro wrestling background. You got that Billy Joel background. Yeah, Billy Joel background. That's the Billy Joel. You got Joel, Billy Joel and Billy Kidman. Yeah. yeah the two Billys. The, the two most famous Billys. There's a couple others. Mm -hmm. 
Go you ever get really signed and they don't fire you for weed? You can be Billy Riddle. Or Billy, Billy something. I figured if I ever do get signed and they need me to change my name, I already got it and I want it to be Rathew Middle. <laughs> I didn't know Matthew Riddle, but Rathew Rolls right off the oh, no. We yeah. knew immediately. Yeah, no, there was no point during this. Yeah. Yeah. Deep. I might yeah. change it now. Speaking of sign, you and I did the same trial and we were roommates. Roommates. First time I met you. Yeah. First time I met you and I had. I'm not, I'm like a casual UFC fan, like I, I like it and I watch it, but I didn't know anything. Yeah. So they told me like, oh, you're going to room with the UFC guy, Matt Riddle, and I was like, oh wow, so he's just going to beat the fuck out of me in the room. Yeah, like, he's just going to gonna, like double leg me and start ground and pounding me, because I'm like, oh, I do comedy matches, don't. Wake up. I, that's, uh, that was one of the funnest weekends. I didn't get to wrestle that week, and I was, I was still very green. Mm-hmm. I just got to do the tryout process. But I had you. You probably remember me just being on the side. I told. I was telling. Who's? I was was fucking going insane. We're doing practice matches, and it's. I do one with Drew Gulak, and I do one with Johnny Gargano, and everyone there. It's, it's like, shitty indie guys who are like trying to get their spot, and then like a bunch of models and athletes and stuff who don't know what wrestling is. Like you. Like me. I'm. I'm the model Model athlete who doesn't know what wrestling is. So no one is making any noise during matches. You go out there and doing stuff. You're like, come on, guys, yeah. No one's making any noise, but I look at him and he's going, whoa! He's all fucking. Like, he's like, come on, oh, dude. Bro, bro. Because like that's what he's I'm, the like, only person the thing making is, noise. I went to a couple indie shows, like a couple WXWC fours mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. stuff like that mm-hmm. before I actually started. Before I. Threw myself into the squared circle, you know, took that dive. <laughs> and I, I'm not gonna lie, man, I fucking pop. Even if you guys see me in the back, yes. I'm like, oh, that's why, like, I love going out to the merch table during shows. Not to sell my merch, just so I can watch the match in person. Like, oh, shit. Strangely, like, it's fun. It's the great. best wrestlers are the ones that react. Like, tonight in the back during, during your match, like, if something cool happens, like, the good wrestlers are like, oh, sure. Like, because we love it. That's why. And that's why everybody in the front row is just sitting here like this as me and Gargano kill ourselves trying to get a job. And, well, it worked for him, but not me. Uh, <laughs> just see Riddle going, Peter Fucker! Woo! <laughs> 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 to be fair, uh, tonight during uh, the, the Young Bucks uh, Osprey, uh, Young Bucks Cole, Osprey Phoenix, mm-hmm. and, uh, or Osprey Ricochet. Everybody. The, like, the main event. The main event. Yes. Um, uh, Liger and Regal we're in the back, just watching it like stone faced, completely stone faced, and everybody else is just like fucking death comedy jam, like <laughs> in the Dude, aisles. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's an annual mixtape of wrestling. But they're also the best ever. You yeah, know? no, but I feel like on Monday you're gonna see a shooting star Meltzer driver from Cena now. <laughs> that just Big Cena. John will do it. Hey, Big right. John can do Let's it. Let's talk I, about how much we respect John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love John. He's Cena. a pretty good guy, dude. Dude's a stallion. He's up there. I think John Cena and I would get along in person. I think he would like me. Do you ever feel that way about certain people that you would just get along with? Yeah. Am I the only one? I feel like Anna Kendrick ever met me, we'd probably end up dating. Oh, man. No way. Now, here's why. She's a body guy. Yeah. For, exactly. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I have a great mirror. I know what my abs look like. All right, I wrote down some questions here. Mr. Riddle. Yes. What lady in UFC could Dustin beat in a fight? Do you think there's any girl I could beat in a real fight? I'll tell you this. I've never been in a real fight in my life. No. Never once. What? They, I think there's like, isn't there a 115 pound weight class maybe? Charlotte, perhaps. You, I, I think size alone. Like this I'm six two, two hundred pounds. This is this is the one thing, and I have all the respect for female mixed martial artists and their stallion stallion asses mm. out there. You know, they're uh, uh, stallions. They're Phillies. They're Phillies. Well, even even when Phillies. I wrestled in high school, I remember wrestling. I wrestled with some girls in high school, and they were like national champion girls. Like went, you know, did big things. Went to college for women's wrestling and stuff. And I remember, like, the one girl wrestling a JB wrestler, but this dude had some fucking pipes on him. And this dude just... He was a good singer? Is that what he's saying? He had some arms. <laughs> I want to dance with somebody. <laughs> he had some pipes on him. And he really roughed her up. And just, like, he just beat her up and pinned her. Like, that's all that happened. He didn't use any technique or anything. She was definitely the better wrestler. Yeah. But, like, his man strength 
just outdid it. You know? I'm a pretty strong guy. Yeah, well, the thing You're is, I've seen, your, I've seen your awful waffle. I can stuff catch like a that. human being doing a backflip. That's a strong human this being. Is, I'll tell you this. Th- people don't realize this. Pro wrestling strength and like lifting strength. And totally strength, different. They're all completely, they're a hundred completely, yes. di- they're so different. Like, you see, my those... lifting strength isn't that much. Like, I mean, I can lift a good amount, but not as much as you probably think. Yeah. But like, I can throw around some pretty big people when I want to, you know? It's entirely like, like, uh, Sami Zayn is a great base. He's just incredible, but he, he probably doesn't bench a lot. You know, he's not, he's not going like 450 on a bench. Like, like, Zach like me. Yeah. It's so. like, a, yeah. So it's a it's a totally different skill to know how to like control another person's they catch like a dead weight body coming in and Ronda Rousey, do you think I could beat her in a fight? No. no. She's pretty talented. She she's she's up there. She's a stallion ass. She's also a then judo, again, judo Then again, I, I have to say I don't know if she's been training since her last loss and it's been a while. If I went through like a, a camp and she was off filming a movie I think and then we fought. You don't think those You know what? I'll be honest. She's she's pretty. She's pretty, she's pretty grimy. Have. She's probably got your number. She's okay. got you. You can't. She's tough. She'll hurt you. Do Dad. you think I, her, and I could ever kiss? She's seen me wrestle. She's come to B two B. I know. She's I know. seen me wrestle. I think. I think she ever ask about me? I don't know. You can hang out. Let me. Know. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. I've never been invited over to the Rousey household. Okay. You know, I don't think I'm going to get an invite anyway. She's yeah, it's not, you're not getting that. You're not She's getting a company it. man, huh? Yeah. Is, is there you think, uh, you think could beat uh, Travis, uh, Travis Brown? Travis, definitely. No, that dude's like 6'10". Yeah, he, like, he, like, he would murder you to death. He's, he's just like elbows people in the temple and they fall. He's like... Yeah. Oh, I think I saw this guy. Yeah, yeah. He's, 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 he's do you think great. I could beat up CM Punk? <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, folks. Yeah. Uh, I don't even have any more questions. That's great. Uh, What's the oldest lady you've had sex with? That wasn't funny. That's that's I got you. Company man. Company man. Uh, (laughs) Would you eat your own arm? (laughs) Survival situation, yeah. Yeah. Like the the what's it called? The the coyote. But but what kind (laughs) of situation? Is that what that movie's about? This girl's dancing in a bar eating her own legs. It's actually very dark (laughs) too. Yeah, yeah, the second act's real wild. I take that back. Probably won't eat my own arm. But like, let's like I might chop it off to get out of a situation. But like I don't think I can rock? eat the whole arm. From how about from like elbow to wrist, just the forearm. Oh, but you, you keep the hand. But you keep the hand. <laughs> the hand just, you just it. How are you gonna cut your meat with a fork and a knife, you <laughs> dummies? <laughs> fucking stupid people. No. Uh, yeah, probably not gonna eat the arm. I think Greg's question originally was like, so say, against your own will, your arm is removed for, you know, whatever, disease or whatever, like, mm-hmm. they, they cut your arm off. But there's like some salvageable meat, and they're like, we can, fire this, we can fry this up for you real nice, we can make it, you know, a nice, Good for like, protein. gourmet meal. Would you take a bite? Would you, would you try it? That was Greg's question. Greg's a fucking lunatic. Uh, I would Greg's probably trend, you know pass. It's kind of like, you know, when the doctor sniffs the placenta, you say, do you want to bite it or something? What? Like, you know? <laughs> when the doctor <laughs> sniffs the what placenta? What third world right? doctors you have your kids Oh, in. snips. I thought you said snip. snip. I thought you said snip. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. When the doctor leans in, he's snip. like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. That's a good baby. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, we a healthy one. A lot of iron in this bad boy. Ah, yeah. oh, snip. The right. Ask him. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Ask him a question, then we're gonna get into the real shit. All right. All right. All right. Well, ask him the, you know, I know which one not to ask. I'm gonna ask the one that you don't know want to hear the answer to. Fuck Mary Kill me, Greg, and Dustin. Fuck Mary Kill. You gotta fuck. Who's Greg? D- uh, Trent. Trent Beretta. His other partner. The other one, the shitty one. The little blonde one. No. <laughs> 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 Cass- I, no, that's Cassidy. Oh, I was gonna say that. I don't even know who you're talking about. Here. <laughs> no, you have so Trent, uh, Trent Beretta, uh, hair always wears a bandana. Um, he's been on Evolve with you. He yeah, he's with, yeah, uh, he's probably Bobby Romero. Republic yeah. Vice. He's a nobody. He yeah. goes Beretta. He's the he's he's the. Oh yeah, I know. He's cool. Yeah, yeah. The, the walk, walk he wears like the patch. This. This no, that he, the, his partner. His partner. Yeah, yeah. I walks know. like a chicken for no reason. Yeah, yeah that's cool. He does. Okay, so fuck, stuff. marry, kill. You gotta fuck one of us, marry one of us, kill one of us. 
It's me, Dustin, and Trent. I think I'd marry you. Aww. You got great eyes, and you're a professional. Ooh. You know, that's just, just being He honest. knows how to talk to me. Uh, hmm. He's in the bathroom if you want to kill him. Yeah, maybe, but he's funny. But it's like, either you gotta fuck him or kill him. Which... And the, I think they're both pretty. They are cute. Look, hey, buddy. It's, so... But you know what? I think I'm gonna kill this one. Fuck this, the this other one. You're gonna nice. fuck Trent and kill Dustin. Yeah, I think that's how that. Would you going. kill him with your bare hands? <laughs> a little blood. <laughs> Probably. A little blood. <laughs> Probably. See, so okay, so it's it's he's marrying me. So I'm sorry to break the news to you. Between me and Trent, if I were here, yeah, you're, you're the marrying type. See that, guys. I'll kill Greg, no problem. <laughs> no problem. I'll then, marry myself. Well, then wait, you just married me, though. Or, you fuck me. Oh, no, yeah, no, I'm fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, so, so say you are cloned mm-hmm. in a multiplicity type situation. Mm-hmm. You've seen that movie, right? Michael fun. Keaton? I've yeah. seen it. Great movie. movie. It's not bad. You fucking that clone or what? Probably not. At least, if you, like, it, you, you know, crank it down on him? You know, pro- probably not. It's your own dick, technically, I think. I don't want to, because have you ever had a finger in your butt? I'm, I have. It's not, I don't, enjoy I, it. Yeah. I don't mind it's not it. From, oh, but really? You know, my, my thing is I'm just not really trying to slob a knob, you know? Just yeah. You don't want to kiss a pickle? And there's nothing wrong with it. Not I'm not saying there is. I'm asking if you want to do it. It's all personal yeah, preference. Just I think not I'd my be, personal preference. I think I'd, I've never done it, but I think I'd be really fucking good at it. <laughs> You ever think about that? No. No, never, never, I, never once. I know what I like as a dude. Because, you know, I've experienced six, six blowjobs in my life. <laughs> That's not true. It's more than that. It's good. Seven. It's seven. Right. Yes. <laughs> it's it's seven. Big seven. Oh, my God, nine. Uh, yeah, I know. I'd be really good at it. <laughs> this is going to sound dark. Fuck Mary Kill, I'd kill myself. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to be here anymore. I like Aww. you'd fuck you'd fuck Trent, you'd marry me, and then you'd kill yourself. <laughs> Very presumptuous, you Dustin. Just bang Trent, <laughs> put a ring on Dustin, and you're like, see ya. Yeah. Uh, All right, I now pronounce you Dustin and wife, and just off myself. That's what I, if I get married, that's what I'm gonna make him say. And I pronounce you Dustin and wife. Uh, let's get into the real shit here. Animal fights. Yeah, oh, shit. This is where it gets real. Tell me about. Say you're in the woods, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you run upon uh, an American grizzly bear. American grizzly, big boy, mm-hmm. big old boy. Yeah. How are you gonna? How are you gonna go after him? You ha- you have to fight him. It's not like, you know, there's no like. What, what kind of what kind of terrain are we working with? Is it wooded, like trees? Yeah. Or you're you're in the it... woods. It's uh, I'm thinking like you know like a. Archipelago? Is that a word? Did I just make up a word? No, that's a uh, chain of uh, islands. Archipelago is, yeah, chain of <laughs> it's not really this. What do you call it? Like a, it's like steps like this, like a, like that. So I'm on a slope. Slope. <laughs> yeah, almost are archipelago. You, are you at the top or the bottom of the slope? Depends. Yeah, now You have the, you have your the advantage. You, you're on, you're on the tall. Higher slope. Yeah. Nice, nice. All right. Like, Bear's uh, coming at you though. You have no weapons by. either. Coming at me on hind legs or on all fours. Starts on all fours. He's coming in, ba 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 bam, and then he comes he up. Sees you. Yeah. All right. So I think first thing I'm gonna do is step off to the right. Okay. When he comes near me, kind of by like a. Pass Give him some rail. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Give him a quick. Probably yeah. hit that Baby comes back. He had an arm drag. Right arm drag. And that's slip, slip. exactly where I'm going with it. Pass by, reach into the bear's pit. Probably grab a handful of hair like a gi. If anybody's done gi jujitsu, yeah. grab it like a gi. I have it, but Wrap the anything. other hand, grab another piece of fur, just hold on to its back. You want to cut the hajime? You're going you're gonna to taz it? Hey, <laughs> baby <laughs> steps. Right there. <laughs> then work inch by inch up the fur coat. Just like so. What's he doing? But now, but now he's, he's, like, he's running. I'm on his back. No, but he's yeah. not running. He's thrashing now. Now you, you are, you are. I'm bucking re- rodeo you style. Around. Oh yeah. You know, I've been eight, there. Eight seconds, I, I've been yeah. there. I lived in Arizona for a little bit. I've done some mechanical bulls and stuff. I thought you were gonna say you fought bears. Yeah, but not in Arizona. <laughs> I don't think there's a big bear population in Arizona. No, I have no idea. Not since you got there. <laughs> they knew to get the fuck out of there. You know. But yeah, so sidestep, climb up, 
go for the rear naked show. Naturally. Uh, and if that doesn't work, probably attack a joint. You know. You gonna cross arm breaker a bear? Not the cross arm breaker because I'm putting my calf in danger and the bear's yeah, mouth. Yeah, his mouth. He's got. He's. So yeah, uh, yeah. what's the old gimmick that uh, uh, Thatcher uses? The old arm. The Fuji the, war? Yeah, the Fuji, Fuji war. War. Probably go for that on the bear, you know, like be on its back, choke's not working, slide off to the side, rip the paw up, you know, really branch, put the armpit on the back of his pit. How's your stand-up game with a bear? Like, if you have to go paw You know, with paw. the bear, it's it's risky striking with a bear. Fair. Because they got, they got the sharp. paws, yeah. and that's like super defense. Yeah. And then they got the fang. You know, so you gotta be careful with that. You Would know, you bite it? Would you bite a bear? If I was already in a good position, yeah, I'd definitely bite a bear. Probably, probably near the snout or eye. Mm. So you already know it's like weak points. You, you have to. Actually, weakest point on a bear is probably its ears. Fuck, that's so weird. You that just you know spit that. in a bear's ear and it'd run away. But you gotta get close <laughs> enough to do it. <laughs> you say that with. Like there's some level of like like riddle family knowledge about how you don't fucking know that bears hate moisture no. in their ears. They Classic go, bear. Bears yeah. don't like. When so they you go, give a bear a wet willy, it's oh they're fucked. Fuck. They're out. They're like you, you just you fucked with me. That's bear 101. Yeah, yeah. Dude, does that. they uh, hate a wet ear. That's how I a bear's signs. ear. It's over. So the really interesting thing is that his first move, the sidestep, is actually really smart because bears have poor lateral movement. I was saying that about kimono dragons earlier. Don't, stop. 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 don't get me started, bro. I'll be no, I want to get you started. No, no. You're a kimono animal. dragon. Because, you know, they're not... A, they thought they were poisonous. They, no, well, it's, a, super not poison. kimono, a super kimono dragon. So it's wearing the, all black and it punches They you changed the their out. idea on them recently. They thought they weren't poisonous. They were just disgusting. But it turns out they are poisonous. Is that what They it is? have so many. Their mouth has they're so yeah, many bacteria it. in it. When they bite you. I think like in the last couple of years, they've changed their mind on what, what's going on with it. It's not even that it's poisonous. It's just that its mouth is so much shit in it. I think that's what they thought. But I think now maybe they are poisonous. It might be everything. Regardless, you just got to avoid the mouth. Yeah, all right. yeah. All right. They so, move fast, go so forward, on, kind of like the bear. What on Komodo Island? Is that where they live? Where they are? I think they got a couple locations now. He's in a zoo fighting a Komodo dragon. Oh you've, you've broken into the Philadelphia Zoo. <laughs> Komodo's coming right at you. What are you gonna do? Pro- you know what? That's probably just a forward roll over the head. Yeah. Probably like crack its back you're with pop like a, a yeah. Over. Probably like a little yeah. swanton yeah. action, like go right out of Jeff Hardy's book right there. Hit that bad bitch. Just you doing the fucking whole deal. It's <laughs> come on, on, a Komodo come dragon. On. And you just go. Everybody's like, we expected an elbow. Swanton works. But if you think about it, Komodo's never seen a Swanton. He doesn't get raw. No, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't have USA. He doesn't. Oh, no. Characters he welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, in most animal fights, are you trying to, you're, Gonna start with the choke. The, the big thing the in any fight, you got to get to a position where they can't hurt you and you can hurt them, and that's mm. the back. Mm. Like wrestling, what are we trying to do? Pin your shoulders to the mat. And fighting, combat like that, survival situation. I'm trying to get your back. That's my pin. Once I get your back, you can't kill me. I can kill you. Sure. So that's how it works. It doesn't matter what kind of animal you are. Let me throw a wrench in the situation. You were so here. smug about knowing how to kill everything. Hold on, hold on. Like, it's the fucking. You no, know, like he makes his face. It's like. <laughs> He's like, right. Yeah, once I get you back, I'm gonna fucking Hold murder on. you. I could. Ste- Stegosaurus, you gonna take his back? Stegosaurus. Motherfucker's got spikes Porcupine. on his back. Oh. Porcupine, too. What are you doing here? Okay, Stegosaurus, to be completely honest, has two brains one in its tail and one in its head. Both the size of a <laughs> pea. Probably just gonna outsmart it. You research how to kill a Stegosaurus. <laughs> you have done your homework. Like, killing it's on animals. His nose. Like what, what? What would you do? That's the smart answer. Come on. Man. I would. I try and box I'm it. Throwing it's, a, it's a quadruped. I'm going so you just try kick. and punch the face. I think you throw a combo at that thing. It's gonna look at you like you asked it a square root of something. You're good. Probably. You're I mean, good. I, maybe I ask it to swear root something. And that's it. Yeah, you teach him. He just trying. stands there and you walk away. He you, just gets confused by a, my math. Imagine if you said a sentence. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> That thing's <laughs> dark. It just has a stroke. Both its little brains explode. It, it falls over. That's why they're not here anymore. That's fucking amazing. That's fucking amazing. It involves spikes. All right, ready, brain. ready, ready. Here's 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 where we're gonna go with this one. You enter the labyrinth. 
With David Bowie. With David Bowie's With dick. David Bowie's hard pack. It's <laughs> weird. Fuck. For some reason, dick in a kid's I movie. need to get to the end. Yeah, and that's like... Well, Matt, what? I know what it's like! Share. <laughs> yeah. Look, Al. When I hear the name Funk, I think of excellent. It's a high risk! Four days ago, I was at the Tokyo Dome. I knew you come! Uh, my name's Matthew Riddle, and I'm a professional wrestler. Oh! He kind of branched off. Okay. Oh!